Thank you, Brian. And thank you all for calling in today. So in today's call, we're going to show you how to unlock your sales potential with an unbeatable combination of term life answers in our FIT credit program. Let's start off with the FIT credit program. Mutual of Omaha's FIT underwriting program gives mortality credits for a healthy lifestyle. These credits apply to all of our fully underwritten term as well as universal life policies. To be eligible for underwriting credits, clients must be between the issue ages of 18 and 75 and applying for face amounts of $250,000 up to $1.5 million. If they're applying for our survivorship product, we allow $3 million as the total death benefit. Non-tobacco users and those who have a base rating of table 4 or better are eligible for credits. If your client meets any of the 12 characteristics we've identified for a healthy lifestyle, they may earn up to two table credits to help defer the risk of another medical impairment. Every three characteristics equals one table credit, and every five characteristics equals two. So we basically have two separate qualifications, lifestyle and medical. Let's take a look at the lifestyle characteristics. They include regular preventive medical care and compliance follow-up, minimal alcohol use, meaning no more than one to two drinks per day, and we don't actually uh, specify the size of those drinks, so they, those could be pretty good. Also, lifetime non-smoker. Next, we have an income greater than 100000 or a net worth in excess of $1 million, or a college degree. And a preferred or better driving record is also a qualification. Now we'll move on to the medical characteristics. A great family history, meaning no deaths from any disease prior to age 70. Cholesterol HDL ratio less than 5. Negative cardiac testing. And a GXT exercise performance test in excess of 10 METs. An alcohol blood pressure controlled or treated of 130 over 80 or better. And finally, a preferred or better build for issue ages 18 to 60 and a standard plus or better build for issue ages 61 to 75. So you can see with those very flexible characteristics, most of your clients will qualify for several, if not many. And it's a great time of year for policy reviews. So be sure to review the fit flyer with your clients who have previously been issued up to table four to see if they may be eligible for credit. And although our underwriters will automatically look for characteristics that qualify for the fit program, you can speed up the qualifying process by completing the fit test with your clients and submitting it with each application. Now let's take a look at our Term Life Answers portfolio. We recently resized our Term Life Answers portfolio at the end of last year. And when we did so, we had one goal in mind, and that was to set the standard for term. We're now priced on an age-less birthday basis to be consistently at the top of the spreadsheet in the standard risk class across our full product line at issue ages 40 to 60 for face amounts of 250000 and over. Let's take a look at some examples of how we stack up against the competition. In our first example, we have Tom, non-smoker, who will be turning 50 next month. And as you can see, United of Omaha's Term Life Answers 10 is the most competitive on an age-less birthday basis for both $250,000 as well as $500,000 of coverage. Next, just want to point out the little asterisk that you see after United of Omaha and uh, Cruco is benched indicates that the age last birthday company. So moving on to our 20-year term, you'll see that we as competitive, being the least expensive in our uh, category of our major competitors. Now taking a look at our rates for females. 
In this example, we ran quotes for a 39-year-old female non-smoker. And once again, on an age-less birthday basis, term life answers is at the top of the spreadsheet. And the same holds true for our 20-year term in both the $250,000 and $500,000 face amount bands. Well, as we just saw, Term Life Answers offers competitive rates on an age-less birthday basis, especially at issue ages 40 to 60 in the standard risk class. Some other key features include a policy fee that is commissionable for face amounts under 250000 and we have one of the most competitive cholesterol guidelines in the industry. We allow a total cholesterol level of 325 with a ratio of 4.5 for preferred clubs, 5.5 for preferred non-tobacco, and we go all the way to 7 for standard plus. The Term Life Interest Portfolio includes a no-cost waiver premium for unemployment provision. In the event of a qualifying unemployment, this benefit waives the premium for the base plan and any riders that may have been purchased for one six-month period. We also offer the other insured rider that has the same group features as the base plan. Our age last birthday advantage allows us to backdate up to six months to save age, and we have exceptional conversion privileges. A much forgotten aspect of term insurance is the convertibility of the plan. Term insurance offers the agent the ability to upgrade the policy at a later date. That means preparing your client for the advantages of cash value upgrades that could be made in the future. This works particularly well with clients who want a permanent plan, but can currently only budget for term. As their income changes, you will be in a position to make a future sale. Let's take a look at our conversion privileges. Clients can convert to any permanent life policy United of Omaha offers at the time of conversion, including our very competitive GUL and GUL Plus. The 10-year term allows conversions before age 75 or two years after the issue date, whichever is later. The 15 and 20-year term allows conversion prior to age 75, and the 30-year is convertible during the first 20 years. Partial conversions are allowed as long as the premium face amount requirements are met, but no insurance evidence of insurability is required. Converting to a United of Omaha permanent life product is fully commissionable as long as the term policy has been in force for 12 months. Term life answers includes an accelerated benefit rider for terminal illness and a waiver of premium for unemployment. But in addition to the two riders that are included in the policy, we offer four riders that can be purchased at the time of issue. They are accelerated death benefit rider, dependent children's rider, other insured rider, and waiver of premium. A unique feature to our term life interest portfolio is the other insured rider. The premium, term duration, issue limits, and great conversion privileges are the same as the base policy, but with no additional policy fee. We're always trying to make the knitting business with us easier. Recently, we've added face-to-face -face signature to our IGO electronic e-application. This is available in all states except New York. We also have the speedy ticket, which is a drop ticket process that includes a trusted third-party administrator, EMSI, to work with your clients on the completion of the application. This is available in most states. So in addition to the fantastic standard rates, things to remember about term life answers is our liberal conversion opportunity, the built-in accelerated benefit rider, and waiver premium for unemployment provision, a commissionable policy fee for base amounts up to $250,000, and of course, they qualify for a FIT credit program. So at this point, I'd like to open up the call for questions. All right, thank you very much, uh, Jeannie. And uh, with the, we do have everybody's uh, lines muted. 
Uh, but uh, as Justin mentioned uh, at the start, uh, you can type your questions uh, into the screen there, and, and we'll we'll see them over here, and I'll I'll relay them to, to Jeannie. Uh, Jeannie, we do have uh, have a couple of them here um, regarding the uh, the fit uh, form itself. Uh, what happens if if somebody forgets to submit that with the application, and and a person comes back with some table ratings, or are they able to submit that later on then? Absolutely. And actually, one of the things that our underwriters will do is if that fit checklist has not accompanied the application when it was submitted, if they see that that insured has a table four or better rating, they'll actually reach out to the producer and ask them to complete the fit questionnaire. Um, also, if you use the electronic e-application, it will prompt you to complete the fit questions as long as that death benefit um, up to 1.5 million for individuals. Um, it's going to prompt those questions, so you, you would automatically walk through those with your client at that time. Okay, fantastic. That actually answers another question that was out there. Is there a way to utilize that uh, the fit test uh, with the online application process? Now, is is that available for both the IGO and the Speedy ticket, or just the IGO uh, process? It's, it's just on the IGO process at this time, and only on our term life answers portfolio at this time. We're planning on adding uh, additional products to that in the future. Okay, and then uh, Jeannie, can you give us a sense of what? percentage of, of all applicants end up being issued with the uh, with the fit credits yes um, we're actually uh, over overall um, looking at whether it's preferred flows all the way down to table grading uh, we have um, a solid over a third come in at standard and of those at least 80 percent have benefited from using the fit checklist uh, most of the clients we see are eligible for at least three of the characteristics, and that's going to bump them up one table rating. Uh, most commonly, we see people going from a table two bumping up to standard, but we, on occasion we also see those table fours moving to table three or even table two. So it's a fantastic program, um, very easy to complete with your clients, and again, we encourage you to submit that with every application. Right, and. Uh like we have another one here. Okay. Okay, and uh, we have a question here. Um, uh, one uh, attendee uh, isn't quite clear on on uh, the fit test and what it means to the applicant or, or the producer. How do we know the medical answers in advance of uh, taking the application and having the medical records uh, assessed, and I, I, I might take a, a par partial stab at that. The uh, the questions are, are really uh, um, they're they're laid out for you pretty clearly, and they're they're simple questions like uh, you know do you make over a hundred thousand dollars a year? Uh, have you ever smoked? Do you have a college degree? Do you drink more than two alcoholic drinks per day? And, and uh, those questions are on the form. Uh, it's right there. Uh, uh, read them to the client and, and uh, mark down their answers. It, it's also pretty self-explanatory. I, I have a copy of it. Uh, I can email off to any producer, uh, but it, it says clearly there if you answer three uh, questions, yes, you're eligible to have one table uh, removed. If it's five questions, you're eligible to have two. Was was there something I I've missed in there, Jamie? Uh, well, I'm thinking that the, the only ones that the client um, and the producer might not know kind of off the top of their head would be maybe the negative cardiac testing or their performance on the um, the treadmill test, the GXT exercise performance. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, quite possibly, if they're a healthy individual, they haven't even, they've never taken a treadmill test. Maybe they haven't had cardiac testing. So um, some of those things might be a little confusing, um, but there again, if, if you haven't had a treadmill test, you can probably answer no to that. Um, and same thing with the negative cardiac testing. If you, you've never had um, an echocardiogram uh, or angiogram, things of that sort, then um, you know it's certainly going to show in your medical history that that was not re required or suggested um, by your physician that you would need those tests. Okay. All right. Fantastic. And uh, I don't see any other uh, questions that have popped up over there. Uh, 
right now. So uh, Jeannie, I would like to thank you once again for your presentation today. It was very informative. And I would like to thank all of our attendees for joining us uh, this morning. We do have several sales building webinars coming up in February that you sure won't want to miss. Uh, it includes uh, one that I'm co-hosting on the first on hybrid policies, really an innovative way to sell long-term care on a uh, either a life insurance or an annuity chassis. Uh, we will uh, have uh, another webinar on how to boost your sales in the middle market utilizing cutting edge technology. And also, uh, you can learn how to make more money with the uh, Super Roth. You can contact any of us here at Financial Brokerage if you have not yet received your invitation to those at 800-397-9999. Additionally, you can register for uh, these webinars that we are hosting, as well as uh, webinars hosted by uh, all of our carriers, including Mutual of Omaha, on the training calendar at our website. That's www.fb-inc.com. I'd like to thank everybody again for joining us today. Hope you can join us again in February, and uh, have a very productive day.